Every year, we put together a list of the best dry herb vaporizers. As you can see, I'm currently being flanked by all of them right now. This year's list includes some new devices and some updates to some popular units. The vaporizers you're going to see on this list are top ranked based on a multitude of different criteria from vapor quality to portability to materials used and even the price point among other things. Some people will rank devices just on one criteria, usually vapor quality, but we like to take a multi-dimensional approach so that the average user can have a better reference point. We cover the nuances of each portable vaporizer in individual reviews, which when we're ranking the devices, you can click on a link in the top right corner and that will give you the specific details if you're interested. If you wanna go straight to the full ranking of dry herb vaporizers on our informational blog, you can do that by Googling best dry herb vaporizer T-vape or searching it on AI, which unlike what people think is not going to be taking my job anytime soon because AI can't vape or love. It could do Craig's job. Hey Craig, you leaving the room right now while I'm doing this and the video still being shot proves my point perfectly. All right, jumping right into the first device on our list, we have the AirRiser Solo 2 Max, a recent release that doesn't necessarily add a lot to the innovation department, but makes the list because of its time-tested formula. Basically, to put things into perspective, the Solo 2 was already a renowned device. People loved it. Then the Air Max came out and people really started praising the Max heating chamber. So AirRiser did the only logical thing and doubled their profits by telling you to buy both devices. No, obviously not. They combined the best of both and added the flagship heating chamber to the Solo 2. By now you're probably thinking, Nick, why are you so handsome? And although I agree, let's stick to the Solo 2 Max, shall we? But go ahead and hit like on this video if you feel so inclined. Also, full disclosure, I didn't write that joke. I don't know who did, but I have to talk to HR. This portable vaporizer honestly surprised me. I'm pretty familiar with the AirRiser brand, so I wasn't expecting the Solo 2 Max to shock me when I read about the unit. But then I tried it, and I gotta say, the new chamber with the hybrid heating convection really does make the vapor taste smoother than ever. The Solo 2 Max also comes with a massive temperature range, which is entirely usable because of the precise temperature control. AirRiser also kept their infamous glass tubes for this one, so it kept the vapor very pure, which is not that common among more affordable units or even some of the top dogs in this list. All things considered, the Solo 2 Max is priced in the mid range and considering all its pros and cons, it sits at number eight on this list. In a dramatic U-turn of affordability and coming in at number seven, we have the Militron, an extremely budget friendly dry herb vaporizer. This unit makes the list because of its amazing affordability. And it also said it would do anything we want, which we were like, but you're a vaporizer. What can you do other than vape? And then we realized we had already vaped and we weren't actually talking to it. The Militron comes with a hybrid convection heating system. It combines convection heating with conduction heating, which gives it great vapor quality and decent draw resistance. The chamber itself is dual heating, which means both the side walls and the convection element underneath the chamber are both heated. The Militron comes with temperature control that ranges from 320 to 464 degrees Fahrenheit and 160 to 240 degrees Celsius via digital display, which is quite a range considering the Militron prides itself on affordability. It's making a bold statement that you can still charge a reasonable price and give people lots of options. Are you listening? Every cell phone company that exists. I mean, this thing even has vegan leather for a grip. And don't worry, if you don't notice the vegan leather, the Militron will tell you. It will also constantly tell you that it's spiritual, not religious. The Militron is extremely effective at extracting everything from your herbs, which means you are going to get the most out of them better than most other alternatives, which is why I couldn't help but put the Militron on this list despite its budget nature. The unit's high max temperature really allows you to get your herb a nice golden brown and extracted, which cannot be said about all the devices on this list. What I really liked about the Militron is the digital display and all the information that it provides you. I wish that it had have been a color display, but no one's perfect. 
Thought I was going to say something about you, right, Craig? It's low-hanging fruit. That being said, it is a budget unit. So the mouthpiece externals are made of plastic. So it's not gonna feel as nice or elegant as say the glass from the Air Riser or the Zirconia from the Legacy Pro, which we will be covering next. At number six, we have the Air Vape Legacy Pro, which is the only device on this list that comes with a flat chamber orientation that has advantages and disadvantages that we are going to go over here. The Legacy Pro has many of the same features that we just talked about on the two previous units, like the hybrid convection heating system and precise temperature control from 212 to 464 degrees Fahrenheit and 100 to 240 degrees Celsius. What makes this unit so special is its inclusion of other features, like a microdosing disc and gold plating for flavor purity. That means that you can get a separate backup battery that you can change out while you're recharging the other one. Honestly, you can get two, three, 10 backup batteries if you're really afraid of running out of juice. It just depends on how many pockets you have and how determined you are. Another detail that confirms that the Legacy Pro was built with intention is the Zirconia mouthpiece, which helps preserve flavor and cool down the vapor. It's comparable to glass, but more durable. The vapor quality on this device is great, and the flat chamber orientation makes loading and unloading really easy. That being said, there's a lot of corners they had to work with to make the flat orientation work, which makes this device intricate to maintain. As if that wasn't enough, this device is also compatible with wax, thanks to the concentrate pad that comes with it. It's not as good as a wax pen, but hey, it's something. Overall, the Legacy Pro is good, and it sums a lot of points because it's so versatile. The reason why it's not higher up on this list is although it's really good at most things, it's not amazing at any of them. Which is what Craig said about me on my last performance review. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did, Craig. I saw it when you went to the bathroom. And by the way, you're not actually supposed to do performance reviews on me. You just did it on your own which is weird. Next up on the rankings list, we have the Utilian 621. This dry herb vaporizer is also aimed at the more budget conscious consumer, but interestingly enough, it is one of the most efficient on our list. Thanks to its pure convection heating system and its improved mouthpiece design, it is capable of giving similar results to units higher up on this list while still being affordable. The U621 is an update to a popular device you may have heard of, drum roll please, the 620. The 621, however, now comes with USB-C charging and the improved mouthpiece that I mentioned earlier, which has a magnet that holds it in place. There's also divots on the side, which will help filter out particles from your vapor. What's cool about this unit is it also comes with a wax canister that can be used very easily. You just pop the canister into the chamber and then put some wax in and you're good to go. In my eyes, the 620 was already a great unit, but the 621 just added improvements that made an already good unit that much better. The full convection helix of the U621 and the slightly smaller chamber than its big brother and industry favorite, the 723, make this a perfect starter unit for the average user. And by average user, I do not mean Seth Rogen, Snoop Dogg, or Willie Nelson. They are on a different level than you, a level you should not try to achieve. Who I'm talking about are the folks who consume herb about two to three times a week. The Utilian 621 was made for you. You can still get great clouds and use concentrates, but you don't have to fill a big chamber to get it going, and that'll help you conserve your herb. This device is like the Militron in that it is extremely budget friendly and pays back for itself fast. And the last thing on this list is that it comes with a built-in tool that you can use to remove any of your dry herb that's already been used and you can replace it with fresh herb. This unit is one of the most popular in our Canadian stores, not however in our US stores. In those, the number one and two have been holding steady for a long time. So if you're interested to find out what those are, keep watching. Watching. Moving up the list, we have the Air Max from the popular brand Air Riser. I already explained how the heating chamber worked when I was talking about the Solo 2 Max, but that's not all this vaporizer has to offer. It sports more of a pen style design and is one of the smaller units on our list, not counting the glass aroma tube. But what it lacks in size, wait a second, lacking in size isn't bad. Everybody likes a small vaporizer. Never mind. Let's just keep going. 
Its most prominent feature is that it comes with an extremely versatile temperature range. It ranges from 104 degrees Fahrenheit to 428 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius to 220 degrees Celsius. Wait, this thing goes as low as 50 degrees Celsius? I was in Dubai one summer and it was 50 degrees Celsius outside. Do you mean that I could have just brought my weed outside and vaporized in the open air? Well, I would have went to jail because it was Dubai, but still, it factually is accurate. The temperature setting is shown on a digital display, which makes it very easy to understand and use. But that setting aside, what really makes AirRiser stand apart in the vaporizing market and makes it so popular is its unique glass aroma tube. Earlier, I mentioned that with time, users demanded more glass instead of plastic, and AirRiser was the first to the scene. With the glass aroma tube, your herb sits mostly in contact with glass while the proprietary AirMax heater extracts the flavor from your herb. It does have one of the highest draw resistance on this ranking list, but the flavor from the glass aroma tube is wonderful, and the feeling of sucking vapor through a perfectly straight glass tube is pretty awesome. The AirRiser AirMax also comes with a pretty big 26,650 mAh replaceable battery which is almost completely unnecessary because this thing runs for 135 minutes of continuous use. It also comes with USB-C charging, so it charges decently quick. Overall, the Air Max is a tried and true device in the AirRiser arsenal, and most users, once trying it, will highly recommend it. Next on the list, we have the Venti Vaporizer, which is the latest and largest vaporizer from Stores and Bickle. The Venti is a pretty wonderful and one-dimensional vaporizer that focuses purely on vapor output and draw resistance. The predecessor to this device, the Mighty, was already the largest in class and had great vapor output, but Stores updated it with an even bigger cloud generator. This means that any Mighty fans among you will definitely love their upgrade to the Venti. So hopefully the Mighty Plus can take up golf and enjoy its retirement. The Venti has a newly designed and best-in-class heating chamber that provides some of the best vapor quality on the market, but only up to temperatures of 410 degrees Fahrenheit or 210 degrees Celsius, leaving you with herb to still be able to use in vaporizers that burn at higher temperatures. The dual filtration system in the cooling unit is great to filter out particles, but we found that it required maintenance after three to four sessions. The inner screen is very fine, but while it's clean, the unit performs beautifully. The device is made with a singular focus to generate the biggest clouds and People love that. If you love it, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. With that being said, the Venti comes in at third on our list because it is entirely made of plastic, including the mouthpiece, which is a bit one-dimensional. And as you can see, it is quite large. It's more comparable to a desktop vaporizer than a portable vaporizer. And if we were doing the ranking completely on vapor quality alone, the Venti would be number one. But as I said at the beginning, we use a number of different factors like portability and manufacturing materials, which as I just said, this one doesn't reach the top of our list. This makes the Venti less suitable for on the go or discreet use, like some of the units we're going to go through next. But let's face it, if you can afford a Venti, you probably have a separate device for your out of home use. Not that the Venti is prohibitively expensive by any means, but you just seem like a guy or a gal who knows how to spend a little money on a good time, and we at T-Vape salute you. In the next spot, we have the very impressive Utilian 723. You might be familiar with its predecessor, the Utilian 723. 22, which has been popular for quite a while. Not only does it still have its signature convection heater and boost mode, it also comes with USB-C compatibility for simpler charging. So the Utilian devices on this list are two of the only and last devices that can use concentrates and herb. They just don't make them like this anymore. Wait a second, they do. That's what I'm talking about. They actually are making them like this. This is brand new. One of the best things about this vaporizer, which puts it in the top three overall, is its vapor quality. It has a new zirconia mouthpiece 
leaning away from plastic. The positive sensation of glass or zirconia on your lips and the feel of the vapor is something that is very sought after in the vaporization space. When it comes to battery performance, the U723 does very well considering that convection heating uses a lot more power as compared to other systems. While the U723 is not even close to best in class when it comes to battery power, it did just get upgraded with a fast charging USB-C. With the same 2300 mAh battery that now charges faster, it can support up to about 60 to 75 minutes of continuous use. The average battery size and fast charging allows this hybrid convection device to stay portable and compact while outputting vapor that best some of the most expensive units on this list. As usual, Utilion plays the value premium game and gets you the most with the least amount of dollars and that's what puts it firmly at number two on this list. And finally, at lucky number one, we have the German engineered Zeus Arc GT3, the only third generation vaporizer on this list. This portable vaporizer doesn't just get the job done. It's gonna change the way you enjoy herbs completely. It comes with its own hub, which stores not only the device, but all of the accessories. So storage and filling the pods can be done neatly. To all of my Arc GT3 users, how great is that hub? Let us know in the comments below. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then click that link up in the corner for the review that I did on this device. What makes this a third gen vaporizer is the convenient arc pod system, which allows you to fill up as many pods as you want for later use with different types of herb. Then you can eject a spent arc pod at the end of your session and load in another one of these bullet looking pods for a new session while on the go. You can even spice up your arc pods with concentrates or CBD isolate to customize your experience, which is something you cannot do with any other device. Since the pods are self-contained and inexpensively swappable, you can really afford to gunk it up, while with other devices, you would run the risk of ruining the heating chamber. The arc also stays very clean because of the pods, which is not something that happens with other devices, generally speaking. The electric version of the GT3 comes with an E module, which takes away all of the manual grinding needed to fill the arc pods, making the whole experience automatic. Every first pod you fill is gonna take 20 seconds, with the second pod and onwards taking seven seconds. Any other device you use is gonna take a few minutes to unload the chamber and then fill with new herb. So this one does not have the best vapor quality like the U723 or the Venti, but it does have a lot of serious technology behind its portability, discreteness, and ease of use. When it comes to the actual build of the GT3, it is a sight to be seen. The GT3 is the most compact vaporizer on this list, and it also has the most premium feel. The seamless design makes it hard for anybody to actually understand what it is until they see the GT3 in action. That's what makes this device so fun and such a great conversation starter at parties. It uses 24 karat gold on its air path, tool and heating chamber, which keeps the flavor and purity of your vapor superb. It comes with a 3500 mAh battery and USB-C fast charging. This thing can charge up to 66% in just 40 minutes. So that gives you enough time to go and watch three or four reviews over at the T-Vape channel, which you can also subscribe to right now. One of the downsides of the Arc GTS series is the draw resistance compared to other hybrid convection units, but the GT3 has added 20% more airflow, so it's narrowed the gap between those units. Overall, I think when it comes to premium quality, portability, and convenience, the GT3 is at the top of the chain. Given its innovative technology, we had to put this at number one on the list. You might have a different opinion, but that being said, if you find yourself combining home units with more portably versatile units like some veterans do, like say the Arc GT3 combined with the U723 or the Arc GT3 combined with the Venti, then that means that you are going to reach master level. And if you've achieved this greatness, please let us know in the comments below and how you managed to do it. And that wraps it up for the top eight dry herb vaporizers of 2024. If you like this video, hit like. If you love this video, still just hit like because apparently YouTube is not ready to commit to anything serious. Thanks so much for joining us at T-Vape. Please subscribe to the channel. We have new content coming out for you constantly. I'm Nick from T-Vape and as always, keep
keep vaping.